All right, so I finished my story, my fairy tale. I've gone over my checklist. I've shown Mr. Z just what I've done. And now it's time for me to project my work out to the world. So as you can see here, I finished my story. The five billion year old man came all the way through. Obviously, it's shorter than the one you have and it hits happily ever after. And now I'm ready. I've done all my editing. I am ready to share this story to the world. The very first thing I'm going to do is go to my file, drop it down. I'm going to go down here to where it says publish to the web. Click on that. Boom. Link is what we're going to do. So I'm just going to hit publish. Okay. That means I've said yes. That's all right. And now this link right here is where people can find my story. So I'm going to leave this here for a second. Leave this tab open so I can come back and do that in just a second. For right now, I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to do a Google search. Looking for Google Sites. No, it's not slides, Google Sites. Hit that enter there. First thing that pops up is Google Sites. I'm gonna click on that there. Now we could create an old school one, but to be honest with you, the new Google Sites is far more user friendly and so much more fun. So let's click on this here, boom. Now, if you have not created a site before, this will look empty. For me, it's not empty because I've used it before and I had my mighty third graders last year create them. So as you can see, I have people who have sent me their websites that they were working on. But for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to this plus sign. I'm going to hit that create new site. Now, this is the part where I really want you to pay attention because I'm going to show you how you can start creating your portfolio and doing it in a way that it's ready to go and you need very little help from anybody else. The very first thing I'm going to do is name my site. I'm actually going to name it after myself. So you should put your name in here, not your first and last name, just your first name. And put my name in there. Sits that that way. Now, the site is already started and ready to go. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to where it says Pages. Click on Pages. Right now, I only have a home page. So I want to go down to this plus sign and create a new page. And I'm going to call it Stories, if I can spell. There we go, Stories. Hit Done. Now look at, I have two pages that are now a part of my portfolio, home and stories. We're going to be working in stories today. So make sure that you're in stories. Now here's the fun part. We're going to go back to insert. We're going to create a text box. This is where you're going to put your preview or your summary for your story. And we're going to put a photo that will describe our story. So first, let's do that. I want to select. I could upload if I already had a photo saved, which I do. But for the sake of helping you, I'll show you how you can go through this here. So as you can see, it's taking a little bit to load. All truth and honesty, I'm sitting outside of a Dunkin' Donuts in my car trying to do this quick before I go home. So I'm going to say alien, oh, I'm going to say mythological male guy. Boom. Male and guy are essentially the same thing. I know. But nonetheless, I'm going to have, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Going off of my story, what really fits? Well, I could do any of these things. I could search it up. For me, I think I'm going to actually go ahead with that picture I have saved. So that's how you would do it if you were doing it. You'd go to select. For me, it's upload. I already have this photo right here. I'm going to drop him off. 
Now notice my photos here, my text box is up here. I want them side by side. So I click on this little waffly looking thing here and I hold down my finger and drag him right next door. Now I can put my summary right next to my story. So my summary, I did not write one, so I'm just going to copy and paste the beginning of what I wrote here. Not because that's what you should do, but that's because I want to show you quickly what it looks like. Boom, boom. Put my summary next to it. I'm going to put my title up top. The five, whoa, five billion year old man. I'm going to make it bolded so it stands out. Now here's the part where that link we created is going to come in handy. I go back here. Remember I had published this one to the web. I've got this link here. So I'm going to copy it. Go back here. And this little link button right here, insert link. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click on link and drop it off. I did control V there. You could do right click or two fingers and then new paste, but I did that. Now I'll put read here. It's good to say read here because when I create this link, notice how it says read here now. So in my story, in my portfolio, somebody could actually sign on to my website, go through five, year, five billion year old man. I want to read this. They come up, they click on this, bang. The story is now available for them online. Easy for them to read. In another video, I'll show you how you can edit this website and how it's going to look from here. But really, this is the way you're going to get one of your stories up on your portfolio so that way other people can read it.